We are going to anti-differentiate the function f of x is equal to 7 times x to the 2 fifth power plus 8 times x to the negative 4 fifth power. Since both of these are in the power form, so we can use backward power rule to help us to get the antiderivative. And real quick, for the backward power rule, it means that we are going to add one to the exponent first and then divide it by the new exponent. So let's take a look of this one. And by the way, I should write down, I'm going to get capital F of x for the antiderivative, okay? Anyways, for this one, we have 7 times x to the 2 fifth. 2 fifth is the exponent, so I'm going to add 1 to it. But then 2 fifth is a fraction plus 1. I have to get the common denominator, right? So this is the same as saying 2 fifth plus uh, the common denominator would be 5. So this is the same as saying 5 over 5. 2 fifth plus 5 over 5, of course, would be 7 over 5. And that right here will be the new exponent. And we have to divide it by the new exponent. Because this is a fraction, dividing by a fraction means what? Dividing fractions means we just multiply by the reciprocal. So we can look at this and then just flip that and we can just put this down here. Multiply by 5 over 7. Dividing a fraction, dividing by 7 over 5, it's the same as multiply by 5 over 7. This way, the 7 cancel each other out. I have what? This is 5x, and the new exponent is 7 over 5. That's it for the first part. And now let's look at the second part. We have 8x to the negative 4 over 5, and this right here is the exponent. So I'm going to add 1 to the exponent, and I have to deal with fractions, but that's okay. This is negative 4 5 plus the 1 is like 5 over 5. Negative 4 5 plus 5 over 5, it's going to be positive 1 5. Dividing by 1 5, it's the same as multiplying by 5 over 1. So let me write this down. Multiply by 5 over 1. Multiply by 5. So we have plus 5 times 8, which is 40. And we have the x. And the new exponent is 1 5. So we have it right here. And when you're doing the antiderivative from here to here, we just add a plus c at the end for a constant. That's it.